Hello, this is HG Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Last time, we died! Or, well, all of those people died. But somehow we're all back to right where we started. So, let's try this one again, see if we can get to the treasure before everyone else does. There is a way to do it! And I will be doing that this time, so that way we don't have to do this all over again. But anyway, yeah, just tell the guy you'd sell your soul for the stuff, and then the water drains. So, this time, we want to take the path to the right, where no one else is going. And, easy as that! Ha ha! Uh, there's nothing in there? Huh. Is this like some kind of trick or something? Why would they put a chest down there with nothing in it? What gives, game? Apparently so. Maybe Snake would like that, but uh, me? Nah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the box. I'll be honest with you viewers. Uh, sure, whatever lesson works for you guys. Uh, we're just the saviors of the world, but, uh, other than that, no. No, we're not important. Don't worry about us. We pretty much have saved just about every place we've gone to. Well, except Skull. Not a whole lot we could do there, but, oh well. So, that's it? No treasure? We went all this way for nothing? Uh, what do we do now? Seriously, I, I don't know how we're supposed to know what to do now. I know what to do, but I don't know how you're supposed to know. But anyway, yeah, what you're supposed to do is examine the chest again, and when you do that, what happens? A secret passage yeah so yeah I don't know how you're supposed to figure that one out but well there you are I just had to be sure maybe the treasures down there just like uh, Ashlyn was saying there well let's take a look around okay yeah we're, we're uh, cover yeah move along now, we got some uh, swamp tiles, or damage tiles, down here. So, I'm going to want to use Steel Guard. No, nah, no, Kaklang wouldn't really help me. Uh, I want to use Safe Passage, so that way I uh, don't take damage. No, of course not, Ashlyn. But yeah, yeah, let's, uh, not that the damage is that much to worry about. But anyway, hey, hey, we got a couple new enemies there. Wraith Wand and Slugger Slot, who we both fought at the Slimopolis, but not for real. So we do need to kill them. So anyway, yeah, a uh, good idea to use Zap on everyone. And I don't want to use Crackle because the bad Ar Carmor is uh, strong against Ice. So yeah, I'm just going to go with Boom there. That's okay. I don't have Kaboom, unfortunately. Anyway, yeah, the Wraith ones there, they could use uh, an Ice Breath attack that deals quite a bit of damage to you. So, you may want to use Insulatol if you run into a group of them. But anyway, we get Magic Barrier, which is kind of like Insulatol, but for magic spells, pretty much. So, that's pretty nice. Let's see, we get another Silver Shield. Awesome. I'm going to give that to Rex later on, but for now, let's hold on to the Shield of Valora in case we run into more Wraith Wands. But here, we got another new enemy, Zargoyles. Uh, just like the Slimopolis, they can cast Frizzle on you, so we want to take them out quickly there. And unfortunately, there's two groups of them, so I can't really use Fuddle to crowd control them that much. So, just go with Crackle or whatever your strongest stuff is that hits multiple enemies. Like Zap and all that. Yeah, Frizzle, not really going to do a whole lot of damage to us. Well, except Rex, I could use the uh, Shield of... or Silver Shield. But, oh well. 
Tales of Flesh, not really that good, to be honest with you, viewers. I mean, it is free, but it's also weaker than Dazzle. It doesn't reduce their accuracy by as much as the spell. So, yeah, that's the trade-off with that one. Okay, let's take a look around here. And another new enemy there, War Griffin. Let's see, those guys can cast Swoosh and Bazoom on your party members. So what I want to do is uh, fizzle them. Um, no, wait, I need... Uh, I, I want Carver to double up there. The side scythe board. There we go. Actually, you know what? I don't think I... No. Hmm. I'm thinking about fizzle, but... Oh! Wraith Wands are strong against Frizzle. Oh, well. Screwed up there. But yeah, if there was like two War Griffins, I might Fizzle them, but just the one, nah, I don't think it's worthwhile. Oh, Kazap! Basically, I think it hits a group of enemies, but it deals a ton of damage to them. It's really nice in some parts of the game. But anyway, alright, healed up. Let's check out the well. Where would this one go? Does it take us back to the real world? Apparently not. Nuts. Well, I'm doing the best I can. Come on, cut me a break. Well, there we are. Well, we could use it. At least we don't need to rest in the one bed here in a damp cave. Oh, how did you escape? Well, anyway, they do have a save point here. Last one in the game. Or, well, at least the main storyline, that is. So, yeah, unfortunately we can't just warp here. So we'll need to find another place to warp to. Uh Okay, well, let's get out of here, then. I'm waiting for us, or maybe just hiding from the Archfiend. Can't be that far. Well, let's take a look around. Nothing up top there. But we do have new enemies. Living statues. Again, just like Slumopolis. Uh, let's see, these guys can hit your entire... I think your entire party with Stomp. Or is that just one character? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, yeah, we want to use Zap. Uh, Frizz and Bang are also very effective. Even if it's just the two of them. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll just use Boom there. Because it'll deal more damage. Uh, they are also susceptible to Whoosh, but they're a little resistant to it. So I, I would just stick with Bang and Zap. That gets the job done. And let's see. Yeah, let's just uh, kill them quickly then. Hmm. Do I want to use Mercurial? Nah, we'll just go with Falcon uh, Slash. Yeah, you're fast enough with the uh, with the Meteorite Bracer anyway. All right, easy enough. Well, let's check this place out. Looks like a Dreadfiend's castle. Hmm. Well, apparently so. It is. It is. Well, screw that. I want to get out of here. Yeah, let's go back to Greedmore now that we've, uh... Oh. Okay, we'll do it outside of the prison. Maybe they got an anti-magic field or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, you could have gone back here first, but I wanted to go to Gallows Moor to just pick up the Zoom location so that way we can come back there relatively easily. So that way I don't have to go through the cave or walk to the cave again. But yeah, when you come back here, all the people are like, Hey, thank you for showing us the error of our ways or whatever. And none of them give you a hint as to what to do next. 
so yeah, I, I don't know how you're supposed to figure that one out. I had to look that one up myself. I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, all right. So yeah, once you get rid of the greed and all that in the town, we can get the sage's robe. Or er, the dragon robe. It's really, really good. And I will want to give that to Navan. Yeah, he doesn't really get too much else that's uh, really that good, but he gets one of the best ones, so. Let's see, that reduces frizz, sizz, bang, fire, breath, and ice breath damage by 30 apiece. Yeah, it's really nice. And I also want to give the silver shield to Rex there to get some different spell resistances coming up here. Hmm. I wonder if I leave and come back if he says, says anything. So there's gotta be something that tells us what to do. There's nowhere else to go now. Yeah, I don't know. There's maybe uh, Mr. Gainmore says something. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, we could figure that one out. Well, yeah, obviously. He's made from pure concentrated evil, just like Microsoft. Oh, well, I suppose. See you in hell. Ha ha. Okay, I guess they they gave him that sleep yourself to death spell or whatever it is. I don't know. Ha ha. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. Uh, there is one person here who gives you an indication that there's another place to go. But this guy, yeah. He doesn't tell you how to get there, though. So, yeah, I don't know. Talk to him multiple times. Nothing happens. I don't see, like, a note that Mr. Gainmore left behind or something. Like, I'm the table in his room upstairs or anything, so yeah, I don't know. Oh. Oh, right. I need to uh, rest up at the end. They still charge this much? Hmm. wonder if there's like a coding reason they couldn't just change that. I don't think so. But in any case, whatever. I've got so much money and casino tokens, I don't even worry about it. All right, well, let's just get out of here then and get back to Gallows Moor. Try and uh, rescue the sage there. And we got to deal with these guys up front too. That's one reason why I have my equipment arranged the way I do. Ah, wow, what's that? The highway to hell? For boss time against the Gallows Giant. Okay, so first things first, go with uh, focus strength there. Start getting oomph going on everyone. Uh, where is it? There it is. And let's see, with Ashlyn, yeah, let's just get an oomph on everyone. Ow! Now you saw how Rex regained some HP there. Once you get him up to hero level four, I think, you start getting 30, you regenerate 30 HP per round automatically. And then it's like, or wait a minute. Maybe it's 40, I forget. I think the maximum is 80 when you get up to max. So yeah, I think it's 40, then 50, 60, 70, 80 up to the maximum job level there. So yeah, it gets pretty obscene with Rex there. Yeah, the hero job class, all that stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. Just the passive ability alone is really good. But anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, I forgot to have Navan use focus strength before. He should have gone oomph, focus strength, 
and then use double-edged slash, but oh well. So my party members are a little out of sync now, but that's okay. Now, one thing that this guy can do is cast Dark Haze, which not only would nullify your, uh, what is it? Uh, the oomph spells, but any other magic you cast, including healing magic, gets uh, disabled. I mean, you could try, but it'll just fail. So, yeah, I, I think the Sage's Stone uh, gets around that. I forget. But anyway, all right. Mini Metal 95. Awesome. Getting there. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Well, that's one way. Well, it's not really an island, but okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the Gallows Giant there, he could have used uh, War Cry to, like, stun you, but yeah, it's not really worthwhile. He could use Lightning, which is why I had that uh, Silver Shield equipped on Rex there to reduce that damage a little bit. But I wouldn't bother with Magic Barrier just because it's only one attack and he doesn't use it that often. Ah. So they're good guys? Oh. Well then. There you are. Eh, I wouldn't pay attention to it. Probably just voices in the back of your head. Oh, well, I'm glad for your commitment. Nuts. Okay, so the Archfiend isn't here. Where is he? Oh, what's this? Another mini metal? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, okay. That is, if they don't take all of our stuff from us. Okay. Well, is this the worst prison ever? No. No, it's a pretty good prison. But they still don't take our equipment for some godforsaken reason. Well... Okay, the goddess is helping us, but you know what I mean, Pierce. Ah. Nuts. Oh, right, right. Good, good, yeah. Carry on. Just, yeah, let yourselves be captured. Are we going to have to walk through the entire place to get to ourselves? How many floors does this place have? What is this, like the deep dungeon or something? Nah. No, that's another game, viewers. Why would they need to look lively? There's no one... Well, anyway. No one that they really need to keep an eye on. Oh, yeah, and we got the, that barrier on the ground there. So we'll want to make sure to use a safe passage in order to get across there. See, anything in the pot there? No. But where is the sage around here anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.